again. Kids for Chemistry here, and I am Awa. And I'm Gerald. Today, we want to explain to teachers about more benefits of using the Kids for Chemistry program that will allow their students to learn chemistry much easier. We are going to talk about Lewis dot diagrams. And we have a special guest today, the inventor of Lewis dot diagrams himself, Gilbert Newton Lewis. He is famous for discovering covalent bonds and the concept of electron pairs. Hello, it's good to be here. Wait a minute, are you a ghost? Yes, I am. Gerald, you didn't tell me that you invited another ghost. I didn't? Well, the ghost of Einstein got in contact with him for us. Yep, Einstein told me about you guys and that you had some really great diagrams that make it easy to understand chemistry. So I had to come and see for myself. That's right, Mr. Lewis. Our diagrams are powerful visuals that allow students to learn chemistry much easier. You don't have to call me Mr. Lewis. You can just call me Gilbert. Okay, Gilbert. And today, we are going to compare our kit for chemistry diagrams to your Lewis dot diagrams. Oh, really? I created the Lewis diagram so that people would be able to see the balanced electrons of an atom that are available for chemical bonding. Could you explain how Lewis diagrams work? Sure. But first, I want you to meet some friends of mine. The names are E and Miss E. That's short for electron. They're going to help explain my Lewis diagrams. Come on out, everyone. Your friend looks very sad. What's the matter with him? What's the matter, E? Well, I feel really sad because I am all alone. Electrons are always sad when they are alone. That's right. Electrons always want to be in pairs. Wait a minute. Who is this? Hello, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late. I got lost in the cloud. I feel much better now, and I'm so happy. I missed you. Aww, uh, I missed you, too. All right, you guys, cut out the lovey-dovey stuff. You electrons are always happy when you are in pairs, and so sad when you're alone. Remember, Awa and Gerald, they always want to be in pairs. So now that you guys are happy again, I want you to explain my Lewis diagrams. Okay, I'm going to have four pairs of electrons in the outer shell. The letter S represents an atom. Notice that it has four pairs of electrons around it, a total of eight electrons. This is called an optic. Since all the electrons are paired, they are happy. But sometimes an atom doesn't have a full optic, and it will have lonely electrons, like this. These lonely electrons will want to pair off with lonely electrons from another atom. So other atoms will form bonds with X so that all of the electrons will be paired off. And that is why atomic bonds are formed. Thank you, E and Miss E, for explaining that. You did a great job. You're welcome. But well, we got to get back to our orbital. That's right. The nucleus doesn't know what to do without us there. Bye! Thanks for helping. Bye. And that is how my Lewis diagrams show covalent bonding between atoms. And it is all based on this octet. Do you have any questions? But Gilbert, your diagram does not show the S orbitals or P orbitals. One of the lone pair of electrons represent an S orbital, and the other three lone pairs represent the P orbitals. I was trying to keep it simple. I just wanted to show where the pair electrons are and where the lonely electrons are, so people will know where bonding will take place. Let's look at the Lewis diagram for oxygen and compare it to the Kids for Chemistry diagram for oxygen. You can see that the Lewis diagram has two sets of paired electrons, and 
you can see that there are two single electrons. The two single electrons are lonely, and they want to pair off with electrons from another atom. So two bonds can be formed. And that is why my Lewis diagrams are so great, because you can see where atoms will bond. But Gilbert, there is so much information that is missing. You can't see that one of the pair of electrons is from an S orbital, and you can't see that the other pair of electrons is a P orbital, and you can't see that the lonely electrons are in P orbitals also. Well, you can't see everything. With the Kids for Chemistry diagrams, you can see everything. With the Kids for Chemistry diagram for oxygen, you can see everything that is on the Lewis diagram and much, much more. You can see the 1s orbital with two electrons, even though these are not valence electrons and are not shown on the Lewis diagram. And you can see the 2s orbital with two electrons, just like you can see in the Lewis diagram, but now it is clear that it is an S orbital. And you can see the 2py orbital with two electrons, and it is clear that it is a p orbital. And you can see that the lonely electrons are in the 2px and 2pz orbitals. You are right. You can see so much more information with the kids for chemistry diagrams. And that is why young children are able to learn the structure of the atoms easier and where chemical bonding will take place. So let's look at the formation of the water molecule for both sets of diagrams. We will combine two hydrogen atoms with the oxygen. You can see on the Lewis diagram that the hydrogen atom has one dot representing one electron. And you can see that the lonely electrons of hydrogen combine with the lonely electrons of oxygen. But that is all that you can see. However, for the kids for chemistry diagram, you can see so much more. You can see that the hydrogen atom has the 1s orbital with one electron. And you can see that the oxygen atom has the 1s orbital with two electrons, the 2s orbital with two electrons, the 2py orbital with two electrons, and the 2pz and 2px orbitals with one electron each. Wow, that is a lot of information. And you can see where the lonely electrons are going to bond. So the water molecule shows you how the hydrogen bonds with the oxygen, and that it is the S orbital of hydrogen that is bonding with the P orbitals of oxygen. You can't see that in my Lewis diagrams. And that is why the kids for chemistry diagrams make it easy for young children to learn chemistry concepts. Einstein was right. You guys were thinking outside the box and have a great imagination. And you have some great drawings that really make it easy to learn chemistry. Well, thank you, Gilbert. It was a pleasure having you on the show. The pleasure was all mine. I think I learned a thing or two. Tell Einstein that we said hello. And until next time, see you later. So long. It was a pleasure being here. I miss you more. No, I miss you more. Uh-uh, I miss you more. Hey, cut it out. That's not funny.
<laughs> You're just jealous. What? Shoot, girl. I got my man. You better get yours. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs>